I know you also have wrote an article. It's, it's kind of interesting. Uh, three things the Browns can learn from the Chiefs and 49ers in Super Bowl 58. Um, and, and I'll run through the three things. Attention to detail. The Browns should add more defensive impact players, and the Browns have to continue to innovate on offense. Take us through kind of your thought process with, um, with that article. Well, um, so the first one, attention to detail. You know, how many times did we hear after that game that the 49ers did not know what the rules were? And I just remember from having covered Bill Belichick for so long, how important that is, that attention to detail. You have to coach your players up on every single situation. They have to be ready for everything. They have to know when to do no moss if you're Nick Chubb. They have to, which is, you know, not scoring a touchdown. Uh, You know, just in terms of, you know, just, Two minute drill, out of bounds, you know, all the little finer points of the game, you have to be really coached up. And, and I think Kevin Stefanski is really good at that, uh, but you can never try too hard. That should not have happened uh, where those guys did not know the playoff overtime rules. I think it's a cautionary tale. The Browns need to learn from that. Yeah, and you know the the other thing, defensive impact players. Um, you know, you, you look at the defense and you kind of go, yeah, they were really good, but can never be too good. <laughs> Well, my point with this one was uh, the fact that they did not play uh, a very formidable gauntlet of quarterbacks in 2023. They just didn't. And it's going to be completely different in 2024. If everybody stays healthy, they've got a really, really difficult quarterback lineup, including Patrick Mahomes and Jalen Hurts and Dak Prescott and a healthy Joe Burrow twice. And of course, Lamar Jackson twice, and we don't really even know who's going to be playing for Pittsburgh. It could be Justin Fields or somebody else. It could be Mason Rudolph, whatever. Um, but, you know, they've got a, a, a much better lineup of quarterbacks to play. So I think they have to be careful that they don't rest on their laurels and think, hey, we were the number one defense. No, they need to go out. They need to get more impact players on this defense, and they need to continue to keep the pedal to the metal. And, and just push that envelope and any other little cliche you could come up with there uh, because they're going to have to be better in 2024. And you mentioned innovating on offense. I, I, that was That's an area that they got to find a way to unlock Deshaun Watson. Is that kind of what you're getting at? Well, yeah, not only that, but just, you know, I think they need to put all their heads together and come up with some very creative and innovative things that, that maybe defenses haven't seen or catch teams off guard put new things on film. And I think that's the whole point of wiping out the offensive staff and basically starting over is the fact that, you know, they wanted to have a bunch of new energy, new vibes, new philosophies on offense. And when you look at Andy Reid, they're always pushing the envelope in Kansas City with those kinds of plays. And how many times in the last two Super Bowls have we seen them actually use that corn dog shuttle where, you know, you fake the jet sweep and then, you know, you motion back out again and the defender just leaves you open because he, he was caught off guard. So I think they need to try uh, more new and innovative things like that. And they've got the personnel and the coaching staff now to be able to do that. 